I am Tom Sturridge. And you're watching Stu TV. Yes, you are. <laughs> and we are about to see... Yes, we are. I mean, yes, we are. What? <laughs> 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 OMG. Yeah. <laughs> well, the film's really about unrequited love, so I'm wondering if you guys have any lingering feelings for any crushes that you had when you were younger. I think every, pretty much every love situation I've had in my life is generally unrequited. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not even lingering, they're kind of inflamed. Right. <laughs> right. No, not really. Uh, it's the, my love life is incredibly disastrous on all levels, um, and Will's is kind of relatively successful, and so I had to really fake it. My girlfriend. I think I'd have 37 raw little neck clams. Um, 37? Okay, 37. marathon oyster eating. Uh, it's my saddest number. And um, some mezcal uh, in a like, glass shaped like a boat. <laughs> when did you first become aware of the concept of Broadway? I, I, my dad took me to The Lion King. Here on Broadway? Yeah. Oh, when, wow. When I was 12. Mm. And then suddenly there's an elephant next to you. And I was just like, I believe, started to believe in magic. So you did at that moment you think, I would really love to come here one day to uh, Broadway? I, th I think I was more like, I, I really want to be an elephant. <laughs> Hey everybody, um, I just want to say, why do I do that? Hey everybody, See All Alive Life is coming to Broadway for nine weeks only from the 29th of July. No, that's not true. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. Um, uh, and then, and then the I other- I'm going to have a lot of bleeping here to do, no, Tom. Sorry, Thank sorry, you. I, no, I, I, I don't know. Isn't that the internet these days? Like, what, can't you get one of anything? Um, and then, um, <laughs> I don't know how technology works. Um, oh, I was reading that you were trying to meet Morpheus in your dreams. Have you had any success with that? How have you read that? I feel like I only said that about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is how this works. <laughs> God, it's amazing. I don't have access to the internet. <laughs> Um, that is the best thing you could yeah. possibly do. She's, that, that's, that, that's my telephone. That's his phone. You're joking. No, that is Tom fantastic. is so, in, Tom is so impressive. I have no idea. Yeah, what Tom is so thinks. impressive. We're like, we're going somewhere, and then we're kind of like, how did you get here? Because you didn't look on a map. And he's like, no, I just did the traditional thing that we used to do ages ago, and like looked it up. You must get so much work done, Tom. <laughs> I. Do, or I don't know, I think I look out the window probably yeah, more. Yeah, you probably take people. the world in and see life, <laughs> don't you? I've got a flip phone. It's a personal choice. I mean, you have a smartphone, uh, which you've decided to have, and in doing so, you give information willingly. It, it, it's not a fear, it's a reality. The first bit it was Zoom, which I'm so profoundly bad at in a way, <laughs> that it was absolutely terrifying and mortifying. Just kind of trying to somehow seem like the character when you're like on a FaceTime call. Like, what the, how the fuck is Dream FaceTime? It's <laughs> horrendous. <laughs> Anyone Skype. Skype's terrifying. It's like talking like to someone in prison. Do you ever have a brush with like a famous rock star? A brush with a famous rock star? What, like shared a brush? No, like no. Matt or... Oh, right. I was like, no. <laughs> like, I don't... Um, uh. Eternal question. Why is the Christmas tree that tree? Yes. So does, does the guilty imp imply that, like, you feel bad for the people who made it? <laughs> <laughs> you have a scene with Nick Frost where you are not clothed. I think a lot of myself in you. Come here. Oh, it's a very special time. How was that? I mean, it was, you know, I I defy anyone to not admit that they would not like to stand naked in a small bathroom with Nick Frost, you know? He's a beautiful specimen of a human being. I often feel most alive when I feel I have a purpose and that when, that when I don't, What's the greatest weapon for battling melancholy? It's probably love. I, I mean, I, I was just thinking about your question and the, the thing that came into my head is how do we describe love? 
and the words that came into my head were dream, desire, despair, <laughs> destruction, delirium. I think we are all together, the endless love. <laughs> Everybody. Hey, 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 everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I don't know how to speak to humans. Well, London is amazing for music. You can you can walk into any pub and there'll be somebody strumming some crap in the corner. I said to him, like, before the apocryphal story where he said he doesn't sound like Batman, um, I said, what does he sound like? And I know the voice inside my head is not that. And the voice that Ooh. guides you to sleep and the voice that kind of, you know, carries you through your dreams. Mm. And that and that voice obviously has to have authority and maybe some danger to it, but it also has to be seductive because you will want to go with him. You know me. We have met before. When the waking world leaves you wanting and weary, sleep brings you here to me. I'm phallophobia. Fear of small birds with glasses. The man who created it sitting on your, well, not literally sitting on my shoulder. Um, Did he not sit on your shoulder? He didn't he sit on, on my mind. shoulder. Matthew the Raven sat on my shoulder. Oh, I heard you got into a relationship with the Raven after filming. During filming, Friendship. which is problematic. Friendship. Um, he was also a fan of Tolstoy. Um, uh, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? <laughs> my favorite ice cream flavor what? is vanilla. vanilla. <laughs> oh. I, I like it in a cone. Oh. Touches every single seat in the house before the audience comes in. The idea being that I want to like reach out to every single person in the room. I want everyone in the room, no matter where they sit, to feel that I'm with them and I'm talking to them. So I want to be in every space in the room before they arrive. It's uh, probably sick. So you touch every chair? So I touch every single chair in the room, yeah. Every night. Every single night before the show? Yeah. Eight. I've never been to a place where people are, so, are such fans of the characters. Yes, yes. And, yes. and, and, and I feel such bonds with these beings that don't exist. There's something yeah. so beautiful about falling in love with a ghost. Uh, there's something so beautiful about chaos. A lot of the time, we're frightened of doing things because we want it to be perfect um, and so we don't and everything beautiful is imperfect be kind peace <laughs>